People have really missed you, mate. I've missed you. My bog out. <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one. This is Shine Automotive. I'm Colin. If you like this sort of thing, consider subscribing. You might just enjoy it. It is the weekend, and I am looking forward to not working on a race car and getting back home with my truck. If you know nothing about this channel, we have loads of crazy projects. And that there is my race transporter. And I've got a couple of weekends free because the Endura K is actually not here. If you don't know about that, we've got an Endura K race car. We have loads of projects, but me and my mate John and a few other people have been building this truck over the last few years and it's getting close to being finished. What I'm going to do is set up these top corners, these cappings up there. That is nowhere near. And I'm looking that way, it's looking that way. Can I do it? Them caps there, I'm going to get them joined in. And if this footage is windy when I play it back, I'm going to scream. It's been one of them days. So I'll stick it on my time lapse. I'm just going to get on with this truck. If you know nothing about it, there's a full playlist. Go check it out. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Yes, let's just work on the truck. Woo! And I'm a nut job, by the way. Yeah, so what I'm gonna try and do is join them up. Now this one was an off cut, because this one with John Folded and made this, this was a hard thing, a shape to get. There's some proper detail into actually folding this and getting this radius around here. But now it's just starting to fur now. So I really wanna get it all zinc primed up. So I'm gonna try and tie them in. That is a different shape. That was one of the early ones. These two are the same. So it is gonna be a bit tricky, but basically where it meets up there, I'm gonna put a tiny curve in and then this is all gonna sort of curve around and finish flat up at the top. So I think what I'll do first is curve it around, build it up from both sides, and then I can cut away these edges to do that. I don't know, I'm winging it. I'll stick it in the time lapse and we'll work away. Right, so it ain't looking so bad. I've got some more filler to put in, but it's just a little, it just runs off a little bit higher here, so I'm just gonna try and work that groove out, getting the groove, but the weather's gonna be really windy tomorrow. So I reckon from like the next lot of bit of footage, it's gonna be a lot of time lapsing, because if it's windy, I can't really, <coughs> I can't really talk. Flexible body filler by our friends at Silverhook. Just come in the transit. Just come in the transit. That sounds so wrong. Just going in the transit to put some stuff away. This transit is coming back up soon. Or the video might be out before this video. I don't know. We've got loads of videos going on anyway. So yeah, just got to smash through all this work and a few more bits to do. And then I am gonna do the tailgate on the XRTT. That's planned up in the next couple of months. So I'll just keep pushing on. I want my wagon done. What it needs doing. It looks crap in the paddock. And now with a number plate on. And all the front's done. I always said I get it done this summer. And the ST race car, there's loads. So I'm waffle, waffle, let's just get back on with this. Getting there, I was just had to stop for a bit of lunch, having some lots of pot noodles, watching the F1, and I've been up and down that ladder, up and down. Oh, what's going on? What's going on? It's a good start. So yeah, just keep working away, getting these corners sorted out. It's dead windy, just a time lapse. Right, I'm off. Right, the F1's over. That should be my final bit of skip to get that. Yeah, I put some extra bits of filler in these bottom bits as well going off but i wasn't wasting filler but i'll just start it off with the soft pad on the grinder 
and that is nice and hard nice and hard that bit of fiberglass in there is all right i might just give that a scuff up and then put the second coat of fiberglass over there build it out before going on to the flexible grp filler the fiberglass is flexible as well it's all going well i'm liking my new phone as well hopefully the quality will uh, still be there because the camera that we wanted the sony camera is still out of stock and there is some available but they're, they're mocking them up about 500 quid more but f1's just done good red bull maximum points nice ferrari a lot of ferraris broke down in that one there'll be some talking about that one right back onto the time lapse just keep plodding away so i've just realized on the time lapse they're pointing at me mixing the filler so basically i just went up there with my cardboard and my spatula and put filler in there i'm sorry you missed that but there's loads of other videos of me putting clart in so that's tying up really well this bit here is overstepped because this was the one of the early pieces that was folded and was a mistake piece not a mistake piece just a template piece but because of the price of aluminium i was happy to step that out and then you just run it out you cannot tell but that slightly runs out to compensate for that but when it's all in color you ain't you ain't telling that you're not going to be looking up there anyway in that corner but that alone saves me a fortune because the sheets of aluminium now is effing ridiculous and how much well how much everything is it's not just at least it's, just, it's not it's everything isn't it stop moving around when i'm talking the price of steel materials fuel the price of living is just through the roof it's ridiculous i could nearly give me flat up and move in here full time moving yard full time 24 hour security dogs on site to lick you I mean GoPro, might not be GoPro, me gimbal. <sighs> what is it? DJI Osmo action. Camera went flat in, in that time lapse. I must say, there's a massive shout out to Klingspo for the supplies with all the abrasive products. The stuff's amazing, the product's amazing. Massive thank you for being a support of the channel now for over a year, same as Silverhawk. Without you people helping us out, we'd uh, be scrimping and scraping and it's better to use the best products. And the sanding discs are really good. Right, let's get back and do some sanding. Uh, am I going up the ladder or am I going down the ladder? Who knows? What I'm doing now is I'm moving on to the fine filler just to finish a couple of bits, but I'm gonna just come down here because I just these front bits I just want to get these raw marks out where they've been in the press. So it's just a tiny bit I'm gonna put down there just to take it out. I'm not doing it along the top because you can't see where the roll goes over. Uh -huh. So I'm just literally coming down there, few pit marks in the bits at the top to do. So I'm gonna do that section there, let that go off, and then while that's going off, I'm gonna jump on and get this corner sorted out and then do the screw hole marks as well, just keep working around. And then we'll jump onto the other side. Just thought, if anyone said, I'm not under the ladder, it's behind. I'm under the ladder. Right, if anybody is saying, why aren't they using a DA? I am in a residential area and it's sunday right and the last thing somebody wants to hear is a da going off all day one i don't want to upset my neighbors two it's good for me burning some calories off because i put on some weight on the uh, benny dharma bus trip and um you get a good finish when you do it by hand i know it's a lot longer time you could do it a lot quicker but this is a nice build and i want it to look right so i'm not explaining myself i'm using a block right so anyone says oh get them on a day i've got there one there's only one of you only one of me there's a million of those who won't let us be but they're not gonna not gonna see me bleed because baby i got you 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 i've been beaten to the ground dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby I got you, 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 you
going on John is coming down and uh, we're going to put the, the piece of aluminium on the back and get the two back rails on and then I can get that spoiler on that I've got yes so I'm going to pull it forward John will be here soon it's early in the morning we're just going to get this done because it needs to be drying so I want to try this week in between work get as much of the truck ready to get into paint and that vibration and that light is doing my head in look at it look at it it's like Professional video. Professional video. That's it. down now and we're about to glue it and we're going to use some adhesive by our mates at Silverhook so thank you very much for that so we're going to put that adhesive on no other adhesive is going to be used and we're using this double-sided sticky tape supplied by Adam at AJ Horse Boxes so thank you for that he's also supplied with us using the folder and stuff like that John supplied all the materials yeah all right John nice and his nice new top there very nice very good, very so yeah, we're going to glue it and then stick it up there to get rid of that horrible wavy davy panel. Looks amazing, doesn't it, John? Oh, absolutely. So, Sensation. Now, that panel, I'm holding it, but that panel is literally just stuck in. John's count counter sinking them. them in now and then we're going to put the rivets in and then we've got some trim that will go on here it's like a guttering and that'll stop the water getting in the gap which has always needed to be sorted out but I never did this back end so we're just sorting it out and refining it making it look good Teasdales are busy they're all busy there's Stewie say hello Stuart hello <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. I'm trying to get as much content on this. I might try and get a midweight video. Oh. People like the truck. People love the truck. People like John as well. People have really missed you, mate. I've missed you. My bog <laughs> I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. No wonder why. No wonder why everything you've done is always wonky. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, comedy gold here, mate. How. Cool, does that look? It is nice and level. Oh, it's going to look so good. So good, it's just going to transform it. So, yeah, really happy with that. Really happy with that. You've got what? Hands of leather. Yeah, I have got a magnet. They've actually softened up a little bit. Have they? Yeah. Nice. Like a chameleon look, they just it, they just grow back. When you, are, you, you, are, you are a good looking man. Hello, Ellie. Hello, everybody. Now we're on to the afternoon. The glue's set, we've had some lunch and we're looking at how to fit. Oh my God. How to fit these cappings. John, John's just said, oh my God. Oh my God. That's gonna take some pulling in, is that one? That's gonna take some pulling in, that one. To be fair, I don't have any screws now. Yeah, but it goes in at the bottom, lovely and all. Unless, don't it's, want... unless it's that. Though. Yeah, maybe just, maybe, oh, that was so close to my face. Maybe just try the other one, see what it fits like. Oh shit.
Right, so they're glued in place and screwed all up the side. These trims the same as the other ones, but there's issues with the folding. So what we have to do now is leave it because we need the glue that's up here to go off. And then we're gonna have to pull these round to suit. There's obviously been something wrong when they've been folded because they're totally different. So these are gonna have to get pulled round, which I can't really illustrate how it's gonna happen. But that'll get clamped round with the door and that'll push down. And then we'll piece the spoiler in up the top, in between the two. Put the number plate up the top, put the lights up. Pardon? <laughs> it's weeds that have just grown in it. Oh, I thought you'd be garden centre. No, there's, there's bulbs in there, there is plants in there, but it, it grew and then it's just weeds. But I sprayed it all in weed killer this morning. So, and then work out tidying up the, the corners at the bottom, getting the spoiler in, moving the number plate up to the top. And John, John says he's got. <laughs> What's up here? First card of the year. <laughs> yeah, first in blue, we thought you were getting flowers. <laughs> Do you like me flowers? What's here? Oh. You capped with that, aren't you? <laughs> right, can I finish this video off, please? Calling the flower bomber. <laughs> Calling the flower bomber. The and then the sort out these corners, get the spoiler up the top, get the number plate up the top. John, John's going to make some sort of door or a hinge for the bottom, for, their, for, the, for the ramps. So yeah, but we've got to let it glue, let it dry off on the side and then pull it round. What are you doing with these? So, I've just been waiting for John to fit them for ages. He can wait a, bit, a little bit longer. I was waiting for you to paint the brackets. I've painted the brackets, I've been Have painted for months. When's your next available date? When's your next available date? <laughs> About three months. <laughs> no, it's not like, it's not. I shouldn't be eating out. Just to come and help me pull them in, it ain't three months like. Well, I'll have to go on Friday, at least I get fish and chips. Yeah, I'll, I'll, see you I'll see you next Friday for fish and chips. What is next it, Friday? This, this Friday, Friday, this Friday, sorry. I'll see you this Friday for fish and chips. One week later. So we are moving now back onto Friday and hopefully this has had five days now to glue, to glue itself to go off. That all up there. So now I've got to tie that corner in with a spoiler. Then we've got to tie the corner in back there. But what we've got to do is where it had just gone wrong on the folder. We have now got to attempt to close that gap up on this side, on that side. It's gonna take some doing, but there's me, Lewis, Sam, and Jonathan here. Now push it, mate. Yeah. See if it's in gear. Comedy gold. A bit like that. It shouldn't buckle, should it? Peel that bit back, put some glue in that bit, screw yeah. it down, and then just work.
Right, they're all pinned back, that side's gluing. That side we did yesterday when John was here. So I've just ground off the tops of the heads now. I'm gonna just put some filler down, just in this top bit. I'm not gonna do this bit yet, because I want to straighten up the line so we can put a nice bead of sealer down there. Exactly the same as the other. I might be able to see it a bit closer because it's a bit more. So this, and it runs off. See, it's running off to nothing. Don't like it. So we're gonna make a nice line up there with the grind and the slitting disc. And then we can put a bead of sealer in there after we've filled this and sorted this out. I've had to put a few more screws in there to pull it round because it's really lumped up tight there. But filler hides a million sins. You can just see how it's starting to come together now to actually not look like a box, more like, a, you know, whatever. It's gonna look better. I can't wait to get the spoiler on the lights and in color, it's just gonna look awesome. And then work out what I'm doing at the bottom here. I think I'm gonna get one of them little skirt things that goes along the bottom. And then we can just chop them, angle them off both sides and then lose it with the skirt along the bottom. It looks sick, bruv. I forgot to put the time lapse on, right? All I've done is sanded that corner down, put some filler in the corners, just to get rid of that daggering bit where it was done. I'm just gonna work out now the guttering, putting some guttering above that top of the door, and it's called J Mold. Where is it? And it's this. So the water runs down that gully there. All the way along there. Right, so I'm gonna cut this, shape this, and get that stuck up of the door now, because I can't really put any fill on the other side because I want that to fully dry the glue. So I'll stick this on and I might go and do some more work at the front of it, I don't know. I need just the time lapse will follow me around and I'll just be putting filler here and there and just getting cracked on. There's a lot of work to do, really. It would take a one person a day, I think, just to sand the two sides down with some 320 ready to take some paint on. But I've got a few bits of filler to sort out in the side where to alter the uh, the internal layout of it to fit the Fiesta. So, right, I'll stick it on the time and let's get this grafted on the back. I feel like I'm achieving something today. So 